Hello and welcome back to The Average. I'm Steph, I'm The Average Artist. Welcome, welcome. Today we have a little package to unwrap. I guess you've seen the thumbnail and the title. That's why you clicked here, so let's just get to unwrapping. I haven't actually seen what's inside yet, but I'm very excited. This comes from a little Etsy store, which I will link down below. But I was just intrigued by it because it looked really, really fascinating. And you know me, I love art supplies that are just like unique and interesting so here we go paint my own reality frida carlo very nice i like that it's kind of a cool little free print you get it says hi stephanie thank you so much for your order and for supporting my small business best regards will ps have added a little extra gift for you in your parcel <gasps> that's so nice where and like i've ordered this and i haven't said anything about like a youtube channel or anything so you know what i mean like You'd think maybe because I have a YouTube channel that they might give me something extra, but no. So it comes in this like beautiful little case. <gasps> oh my God, look how cute. Look how cute that is. Really nice like porcelain, Lillian May. Oh, that's so sweet. Little tiny, little tiny uh, palette there. So cute. And he's given me this beautiful little um brush holder as well for free that's so nice and it's really nicely uh, glossed <laughs> that's what, varnished is the word i need to say here is the uh the thing i bought it for this tiny little matchbox paint box thingamajig watercolor set so let's open it up oh so sweet though I, it's so sweet that i don't want to open the packaging but we have to because we want to use it um yeah i'll link this down below uh, obviously i bought this with my own money no ad or anything so you know uh these are my honest thoughts and so far i think it's pretty it's freaking sweet look how cute can you see that and it even has like its own like matchbox design so lillian may studio that's so sweet and it tells you the different um colors on the back so i've got ultra green blue carnium yellow but umber and azurian have I said that right? Ali Zerian Crimson. And here they are. Look how sweet they are. And it's got like a little indented, I don't know if you can see that, but the little indented uh, Lillian May branding there. It's really sweet. Oh, I'm like, oh, it's so cute. I can't believe it. It's so nice. So let's uh, make a tiny painting with all this tiny little set that we have. It's so sweet and I can't believe it. Three, two, one, transition. I have decided to paint, uh, obviously, a scene of a photograph that I took from my window. I don't know why, just, just feel like it, you know? Just feel like painting my cat on the window. I'll put the photo up here now of what I want to paint. Um, it's not going to be exactly like that. I want to take horrible gate away. I think that's just going to look horrible. And maybe put some like trees and leaves in there instead i don't know or maybe just faded background not sure yet haven't got to that stage <laughs> all i've got to say on the matter i'll see you in a second coffee is the nectar of the gods i'm not even joking like it actually helps me work got my paintbrushes here on this lovely uh, stand that i got given for free very nice thank you again if you watch this <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to put my little paints on this little palette and the little tiny paint. So cute. Okay, um, I, have to, I feel like I have to be so careful with it because I'm so clumsy. So, you know, look how cute they are. I can't get over how cute. Okay, um, so I want to do something. I want to do an underpainting of like this burnt umber. But like really really light because i think it's good and it just has like an un you know it gives the vibe of the whole painting if you do it like that um except this top bit where the trees are gonna be because i want that like really light blue up there a little bit of light in england sometimes so we uh we're going to take advantage of that light <laughs> and actually put it in the painting and not just pretend that dark and gray because it's not always as you can see from the photo actually the photo in the photo yes it is still dark and gray um it's just light i don't know what else to tell you um uh, but yeah i just want to paint like a soft under light <coughs> under light so everything that shines through will have like this consistent brown light i guess <laughs> yeah brown is the color i've decided to do this with but it doesn't matter usually i would do like a pink or something but <clears throat> we're going for we're going for uniqueness okay we're going for different today and uh, that, that's that, okay? I don't want any questions about my process at this time. Thank you, I will be taking no questions, goodbye. 
very nice. After a little hair drying action, you can see that the paint has smoothed down and created some nice textures within the painting. Oh yeah. Okay, let's use the little little palette, I guess. Oh, so cute and innocent and sweet. Okay, I just want to, um, mm, I keep saying okay, ignore that, ignore the okay. I, I really want to just, you know, just, we talked about wonky lines last time and everybody, everybody was like, yeah, I love your wonkiness. And I'm like, what? Excuse me? I mean, I know I said it, but I can say it. <laughs> Joking. Um, but yeah, I've got wonky lines, guys, and it's just the way it is. Also, if this is the window, and I said that that was the open space where the light is, I've left way too little space, but baby steps for me, okay? Baby steps. I'm just, just imagining that this is the window now, okay? It is very brown. I will give you that and I you are probably thinking Steph why is it brown and I would tell you I'm not sure it's just happening that way and here comes a little cat to kind of fuss about please keep walking keep walk don't drink the paint water I'm just smocking up where the shapes are and I hope that it makes sense visually found anything I'm gonna make the window a lot smaller just cuz I can you know what I can because if you take a picture, <laughs> why did I say it like that? If you take a picture for inspiration, you can make it your own, right? So there's a little cat here, right? There's a little pester here. It's very cute in her little... Basically what I have here is like a fluffy infinity scarf, if you remember those. And she lies in it on the windowsill when the heat is on and it's so cute. Cause she's like actually finally warm because she she's a cat from Spain. We got her in Spain and um, she's used to the heat and now it's like, no, 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 you live in England now, so welcome to the pain of the cold. So anytime she can get her hands on some heat. I guess all cats are like that, right? All cats are like, uh, heat please. So yeah, she's snuggled up in an infinity scarf, which is very cute. So you know what? Take that. I don't know why I'm extra awkward today. Have you noticed that? <laughs> <laughs> it was like Steph, what is happening? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I've got like some. I've got a plant here, which is actually a fake plant. I killed the real plant, and then I stuck this fake plant in there instead because I thought that made sense. And it does kind of make sense to do that because if you can't keep a plant alive, then you shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> uh, so many cats, I guess. But we'll, we'll we'll move on from that point. I'm just yeah. I'm blocking out the shapes of where everything is. This is probably not how you should paint with watercolors, but it is just what it is. And I, I I usually I like watercolors, but I guess I like gouache better. So I will probably be using a white gouache as well um, to help me out here. But these colors are really nice, really pigmented. The story of this is that I just went on Etsy and I was like, hmm. I wonder if they have any cute art supplies on Etsy and uh, yes they do obviously yes helping a small business and I think yeah as a person who sort of has sort of has a small business I say sort of I sell my comics and prints and stuff so it's like I get it you know what I mean like I you guys probably get it as well to be fair it's just it's nice it's it's nice to support a small business there I said it I've said it what are you gonna do I think you probably agree so probably nothing <laughs> and yeah this painting you're probably like what is going on here and I would agree with you I would agree with you that's what I'm gonna say about that anyway so what happened was I saw this little matchbox set and I was like that is so cute and uh, yeah, so far it's going really well. I'm really liking these. I'm liking the way they're drying, layering. It's very cute. I wonder what their process is for making like these paints. And I think there's something special about knowing that um, it comes from a small business, you know. I absolutely adore this little palette. So I'm just gonna like draw the dark sections of pesto. <laughs> the dark, the dark side. She's just like peeking out and then the infinity scarf that I've never worn by the way. It is literally just, well I have worn it back in the day but it's just like so soft. I think she likes it so it's very cute. It's very tootin' cutin'. <clears> hmm, <throat> I'm gonna stop speaking because cutin' tootin' is not something that I should have said. That was very odd. Does anybody else go like a little bit mad when they're painting? Where is that white gouache? You sneaky bugger. I'll give you a gun. Found it! Uh, yeah, so it's just a normal tempura white gouache. Gouache! Yes! So just blocking out everything at the moment, as usual. I like to block, s nearly said the S word, stuff out. 
that's the S word I meant to say. Continuing with detail, I've really not done a good job on uh, where everything is in this painting, but I don't really mind that, you know, like I said before, I'm taking, I'm not taking this painting, this, what am I trying to say? I'm not taking this reference, I'm not taking this reference, <laughs> thank you, uh, literally, even though maybe I should be, but I'm not, okay? I just wanna paint and have fun. This fake plant, all right? It looks very fake from this angle because you can see where the plastic bits meet um, the edge of the, the leaves. But I'm gonna paint it as if it's a real plant here because I like to pretend that I can keep a plant alive and uh, nature likes me. Yeah, like in his paints, Pesto looks so small there. I think I've just completely messed up her proportion. So even though I said I wanna take this reference, not like quite literally, I do want to paint her as cute as possible because she's such a cutie patootie. Why have I said that? Why have I said that again? I feel like I said that earlier and I was like, don't say that. What's wrong with me? All right, okay, let's get some, I'm gonna block in some major colors now. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm really enjoying the way that these colors are sort of blending into each other in a really interesting way. And I think that's all down to the paints themselves. And I think it's really pretty. What I like about this composition, if I can say it's a composition with like my whole chest, is that there's like a sort of darkness to the outside, a sort of like I don't know, brown, dense woods. And then the inside is all like warm and pink and friendly. And I, I kind of like that like juxtaposition. And I really like the shadows as well in this uh, picture because it just shows you like how cold it is, I guess. Emulate that if I can, if I have the skill. My wonky skill, yeah, okay guys, you said it. I agreed, fine. <laughs> we should have figured out where these windows were before painting the outside, but you know, that's the way I am. Don't wanna hear it. Okay, okay guys, I don't wanna hear it. The internet's like, well, should have listened to us in the comments before you made this mistake. You should have listened to what we were gonna say. You should have foreseen. Actually, the comments have been quite nice recently. I don't know why I keep going on about the comments. I've had worse comments in my time. So thanks guys for keeping it real, for keeping it light and uh, friendly. Didn't get any Conehead comments last time, which is very interesting. It seemed like the Conehead crew were letting that one go. You probably need to go back and watch my other video if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, so I just want to do like a blue sky. It's a little bit blue, pinky. What am I saying? It's a little bit um, yellowy. But probably wait for other stuff to dry again that's my problem with watercolor i just go in what i'm going to do is a little bit of a uh what am i going to do a hair dry action right now so let's do that honestly it's something so satisfying about watching um watercolors dry quickly under a hair dryer uh you wouldn't know because i didn't show you but just imagine that it was really cool <laughs> uh, you like watching me huh like watching this channel? Probably not. You probably they aren't really necessarily brown. They're kind of more grey. But if I draw them in, and then I can go. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for that. Thank you, Mochi. That's really helpful. Can you just bog off? Can everyone just go away? I'm trying to paint here. Hello. Just kind of push ahead because you know the ugly stage is ever present in sometimes in my paintings. <laughs> right forever the ugly sage is present but it's fine because guess what we're having fun say it with me now it's okay to make mistakes and have an ugly stage because sometimes it just happens that way i really want to make a really dark uh bluey brown here because i really want the the shadow to be like really deep because i feel like it's not deep enough yeah it could be helping could be helping. Oh no, I mixed a bit of the white. The palette did is too small. <laughs> how would this, how would it backfire on me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see it being a bit more of a wall now. It's making more sense. You know how Picasso had like the blue era? I'm having a brown era and I don't want to take any questions. Thank you. Pesto, that's paint water, please my love.
So I'm just going in with some like white wash to just highlight some areas um, and I'll probably mix that a little bit more with the watercolours just to like um, hint at where the light is um, because I haven't, I can never do that <laughs> with watercolours like keep the light in. I can do it a little bit but it's not as good as I want it to be so I'm just highlighting areas. Um, and I'm probably going to go in over some of these with more like colour to just uh, define where this colour is. I'm also going in with the white gouache here in like certain areas behind the trees where the light is sort of brighter. I guess it's where it's coming through the clouds a little bit but you can't really see the clouds because it's so misty. But I really like just highlighting shapes within the piece. I think it looks nice so I'm going to continue doing it. Right, we're sort of coming to the finalization stage and I just, I really want to just do some darker shadows, probably darker than the in actually in the, the photo, but I feel like it calls for it because I don't know, it seems like a pretty gloomy photo and I want to emulate that. I think I have already, but I think we could go gloomier. <laughs> If that makes sense. I would like to go gloomier. There's just lots of like dark shadows that I haven't really brought through as much as I could have. So I'm just trying to do that a little bit to just I'm not gonna make it super dark because I think it's just like bits and bobs on my desk. Um yeah it looks like my desk here so I just want to make it like super dark and out of frame you can't really tell what it is kind of thing. But yeah, totally loving these paints so far. Um, like I said, I will link them down below if you're interested in looking at them or buying them. It's a super reasonable price for handmade paints and come with this beautiful, like, obviously handmade palette uh, holder. So, like, I think that's really sweet. And I think I've said the words sweet about 50,000 times in this video uh, so just ignore that <laughs> if it's possible to ignore that but yeah I think I think we're coming to like the final steps here this here is some slime some slime on windowsill mm -hmm. I'm gonna apologize for it I've made like this dark shadow around pesto like really um, blue I kind of regret that, but it is it is showing, sort of, if that makes sense, so. But I want to, like, really, if I can, bring out her details a little bit more to make it really obvious that she's a cat here. And actually, you can't really see her eye because it's, like, underneath this bit, but I've moved her eye slightly up just so you could understand that that's her eye. <laughs> Otherwise, it would just look... Like, what's that lump there? I don't know. I don't know, can you see Pesto here, little cat here? Um, hope so. really enjoyed this painting. Uh, I think it's very nice. I just wanna do some shadow here. I really enjoyed making this piece. I think I'm gonna stop there. Uh, probably could go on for a long time and keep going, but we just did this quick painting to review these paints and I think they are absolutely beautiful. They layer well, they just, they're very nice. I really like them and I think if you want to get some watercolours it would be nice to get it from a small business. Let's just peel off this tape even though it's not completely dry. <laughs> there is a hair here as well which why? Why? Okay it's staying there because I feel like if I smoosh it it's gonna move the whole painting. But yeah I'm gonna take this off now because I'm too impatient. I have a problem guys and thank you for being here with me. But like I said, I feel like this painting is a really good practice piece. I, I obviously could spend hours longer on it and perfect every little 
detail on it and I feel like it would be a much better painting but it's just a practice and for review of these paints really nice really sweet sorry I made a mess of them that tends to be what I do I will clean them up now but yeah what do you guys think did you enjoy watching me paint with this tiny little palette tiny little palette so small so cute little ah! it's fine <laughs> What did I say about me being clumsy? Uh, yeah, little matchbox palette done. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you, hopefully, if you don't unsubscribe next time. Bye!